Hey, hello folks, this is Gray Eagle in Florida. We've got a not too nice day out there. It's a bit overcast. Might rain a little bit. In fact, it's already rained a little bit today. But what we have uh, here now is a uh, Prophecy Report Special Weekend Edition. And uh, boy, what a uh, weekend prophecy we had this week, huh? Well, of course, the scoffers are going to continue to scoff. They'll say that uh, meteors have always fall, struck the earth, but uh, what they don't understand about that is, uh, yeah, that's true, they have uh, uh, struck us quite, a, quite often over the last uh, oh, millions and millions of years or whatever, but what they don't understand is that uh, all these other prophecies are coming uh, together. Uh, coming past, uh, uh, coming to pass also. Uh, for example, look at all the uh, earthquakes we had uh, the last couple of weeks, especially the 7.0s and even an 8.0. The wars and rumors of wars, signs in the sun, moon, and stars, plagues and pestilence, all this is happening right now as we speak. Then we have this uh, Russian thing, and also I understand there was one in uh, uh, a meteor uh, flashed across uh, San Francisco earlier today, and one in Cuba. Uh, Jesus said in uh, Luke 21:28, "When all these things begin to come to pass, that's when you ramp up your watch efforts." And they are beginning to come to pass in all this week. First, the Pope resigns this week. And we have this Russian meteor. On, by the way, the exact same day as uh, 2012 DA-14 was supposed to uh, skim by the Earth at a uh, record uh, uh, closeness. Um, NASA has said... Uh, or the experts, uh, in fact, all of them have said that uh, not related to uh, the Russian thing is not related to uh, DA-14. But I'm not so sure about that. What are the chances of this record uh, close... Uh, uh, skimming of the earth coming on the same day that a large uh, meteor uh, hits uh, uh, Russia uh, then uh, San, skims over San Francisco and Cuba and uh, the odds have got to be uh, 150 million to one I'd win the lottery 14 times in a row uh, probably before that would ever happen but nevertheless it happened Nevertheless, we must understand that uh, 2012 DA-14 is not the only object to uh, skim by the Earth yesterday on the 15th. There was also 2005 RZ-2, 1999 VF-22, and 1999 YK-5. So uh, what hit Russia was probably a chunk from one of these. And most likely so was the others that were seen. But if it was not related to any of these, why did NASA not see it? They've got dozens of uh, uh, objects, uh, near-Earth objects, on their website. So if it's not related to any of these, uh, NASA has failed us. They did not see this one coming in. But I'm quite sure that it is related to at least one of those four, count them, four objects that skimmed by the Earth at very close uh, range yesterday. And of course DA-14 being the close, closest. Okay, uh, That's going to be it for this uh, Prophecy Report Weekend Edition. 
We got uh, an eight. Uh, let's see, I think that eight point oh uh, earthquake was this. Uh, wasn't that this week? Let me uh, double check here before I leave, right quick. I think that might have been over two weeks ago. Yeah, well, I think that was over two weeks ago. It's off the uh, seismic monitor right now. So, uh, anyway, we've got lots of other earthquakes. Uh, we've got a 6.7 actually that happened in Russia this past week and uh, dozens of other smaller ones so that's it for now remember to uh, trust Jesus for the salvation of your soul and you can uh, escape the great tribulation which is about to come upon the earth like all the rest of us uh, remnant uh, church the eagle is out, out but I'll be back if the good Lord be willing and the creek don't rise.